Yo, what's up gang? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're watching for the first time, you already know, hit that subscribe button. It's been an interesting day in the world of hip-hop, or should I say Africa, African hip-hop or hip-hop Africa, whichever makes sense. Not even an interesting day, a um, couple of days because it all started with brag, right? Um, it's actually raining, so I hope the rain doesn't um, bother us. It started with Sack, King Sack dropping brag, and on that record, he named dropped some big names you know the likes of david the likes of um wiz bonner ashike and the incredible black sheriff right he name dropped them he he didn't necessarily diss them he he just let it be known that he was in the game before these artists so um i, I don't feel like he dissed them but they could have taken it anyway you know even from the title brag it sounded like sack was bragging right now today we saw dremo drop this this track aimed at king sack um which is pretty interesting i never really saw that one coming but yeah he, he dissed king sack so it's it's been a crazy day right the whole the, the, the social media has been crazy like basically all day so i reacted to that record if you haven't seen that reaction video yet make sure you go check it out and cj bigger man just dropped what looks like a disc record aimed at Dremo. So we're officially in beef season, right? And bro, I, I love it. Like, yeah, it's it's entertaining as hell. So um, come on, let's let's see how this one is sounding. Let's see what CJ got for us, man. Let's jump right into it. Okay, this is actually Bragg's instrumental, right? This is actually Bragg's. It's, it actually says Bragg cover, Dremos D. So, CJ actually used King Sack's Bragg beat. Alright, let's roll. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> Beef season. Yo. If you the disc of your asset, you be rapper, you be stupid for the gimmicks. If you gonna represent it, I'm a menace, or you be the highest level of like you the biggest. Let me teach you one nigga how to respect the legend. Ah. <laughs> okay, alright, CJ, CJ, let me teach this Yawa nigga how to respect a legend. He literally said, you know, CJ literally said, King Sack, you're the highest. Just leave this dude for me. Let me let me eat him up. Let me actually kill him. Let me teach him how to respect. A legend so this is basically cg actually being um actually dissing dremel in defense of king sack so interesting so sack hasn't responded yet we're seeing other rappers actually coming in defense of sack so all right <laughs> this is about to be crazy this is about to be crazy it, <laughs> <laughs> Pushkin, yo. If you the disc of your asset, you be rapper, you be stupid for the gimmicks. If you gonna represent, and I'm a menace, OBD, you be the highest. Left the reply, give the biggest. Let me teach you one thing. OBD, you be the highest. Left the reply, leave the biggest. <laughs> OBD, you be the highest. Left. I really like that line. Yeah, he, he actually complimented, um, Sack. You the highest, no, you the highest. But just you know, leave the reply for the biggest. I really like that part. Now CJ is spitting for real. CJ is spitting. Okay, okay, okay. CJ, what the hell? CJ literally said we only sound nice. Now I feel like that, that line is actually for the whole Nigerian. I think CJ is literally beefing or this sorry this isn't like Nigeria as a whole saying we only sound good when it comes to Afrobeat and we've heard this times without numbers right it's not the first time we're hearing um Ghanaians actually let us Nigerians know that we're only good when it comes to you know singing and shit like that now it's it's a dope line a, a very hard punch but I, I I I don't agree with it of course I'm a Nigerian and not just because I'm in Nigeria, and I feel like Afrobeat is so big at the moment. I know Ghanaians won't agree with this, but I'm just going to put it out there. We're doing so well when it comes to singing right now, to the extent that our rappers 
it's it's affecting our rappers it's affecting hip-hop in nigeria it's, it's really affecting them they don't even see the lights anymore because everyone is so focused on Afrobeat right now in nigeria so if you ask me i feel like we do we do have a whole bunch of dope rappers which i believe they will come for cj like uh, cj dropping this this would actually lead to more rappers getting into the beef which i really like i'm really glad he actually responded because Dremo definitely Dremo is definitely going to respond. Someone else is definitely going to come in. I see Chinkoeko. Now Ghanaians don't really know our rappers because they barely hear of them. Like Afrobeat is dominating, so they 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 literally just hearing of you know the Afrobeat artists at the moment. But we've got dope rappers, and y'all gonna see. But yeah, CJ, that was hard. That was really really hard. Let's go. Like if the biggest, let me teach this young nigga how to respect the legend. Mm. You all know get hyped and seized. You only sound nice on Afro beats. Afro beats. Hip hop. Gotta know get sized with this drum. <laughs> This be hip hop. Gotta no get size with this. He's letting he's letting Dremo knows that yo, it's hip hop. Like bro, <laughs> Ghana has no size when it comes to hip hop. Just leave it for Ghana. That's basically what CJ is actually saying. I fuck with you, it. Let's go. <laughs> is that what you drop? He be nonsense. <laughs> CJ said, "What you drop? He be nonsense." <laughs> okay, CJ is taking it really personal. He's taking it really personal. I like that. Relax. He just name dropped Odumodu Black. Interesting. Who you go bring Odumodu Black? Fuck. I go stand. Okay. <laughs> who you who you go bring with the mode to black? I go stab you with a dagger. Wait, wait, relax, relax. CJ just invited with the mode to black into this whole beef, right? He just name dropped. You know that's how beef works. You name dropping artists. You name dropping. Hip hop art, and I think it's a smart move because Odomodo is really stubborn, right? Odomodo is extremely stubborn. Let me change the color of this light. I don't like this white light. Okay, now I messed it up completely. <laughs> now I messed it up completely. All right, let, let that one just be by the side, first of all. CJ name dropping Odomodo black is definitely going to lead to Odomodo black responding, and I like that. It's a smart move because, yeah, like. The more rappers get involved, the more the, the, the beef expands, right? It becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. So, yeah, this is literally CJ name dropping and inviting the more the black into the beef. So, yeah, interesting times. Let's go. Yet to stay. <laughs> wait, wait, he never dropped recross. He said, Oh, do recross found for me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You have to stay one a permanent residence. Okay. Although we cross fan fooled me and no be easy to brush off. Now I really like what CJ actually just said because I believe that's a line Dremo was going to use to respond. Now what when it comes to beef artists do their homework right rappers do their homework they, they go out they investigate look for dirty you know they, they look for they look for debts on you like they're actually out there to use against you right so cj saying although request fan fool me is actually dissing himself already so basically i i, I know i know request fan fooled me blah 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 so yeah i think that was a smart move by cj because dremo won't be able to use that line against him anymore so very smart very smart i fuck with that i fuck with that yeah i'm loving what cj is doing i feel like it's really impressive because cj actually recorded this um under how many hours when did he even start beef when, when did dremo even drop that this record he, he literally recorded this this track today so that's impressive that that shows is a true mc a true hip-hop artist a true rapper you know um i'm impressed let's go Push your nigga now, now what's your name, sir, now, fam, to four, let's see how quiet now, where you belay, remove, 
We don't fall for antics. I cheat me bear my bone for greatness. Come on, mean you met here, you choose Spotify. Who can see this? I will give you the sex. I want your analytics. Shout success 2024. Anybody will go try GAC. They pick up an Okolo Jesus, the savior. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Crazy times, scary hours, scary hours, scary hours, right? Scary hours, scary hours, scary hours, scary hours. Okay, this was dope. I feel like um, yeah, um, I, I like this record. I really like this record. CJ came out and actually said his mind. So yeah, um Dremo is on the clock right now. Dremo is on the clock. And like I said, I feel like a whole bunch of rappers are actually going to get involved. Dremo is gonna respond to this. Or the more the black might respond to this. Now it's interesting because we don't know how Odomodu is going to sound on a this record. That's if Odomodu is gonna respond. I, I don't know if he's going to engage in it. But I hope it does. I really want to see. Look, I, I really, I because I feel like it's it's all good for the sports, right? In entertainment, at the end of the day, I mean, um, we are not going to see Ghanaian rappers or Ni uh, Nigerian rappers go out there and shoot each other, right? It's all for the love of the game. It's all for the culture. This is hip hop, right? It's hip hop. It's how hip hop is supposed to be. So I feel like this is going to. It, it's good for every part is involved. It's good for Ghanaian rappers. It's good for Nigerian rappers. You know, we're gonna get to know for, for some Nigerian, like you know, some people, some some people, are, some Ghanaians actually say it's the first time they're hearing of Dremo today. Now that's a good thing for Dremo. You get what I mean. Now CJ, for an example, now I'm not sure how many Nigerians actually know CJ, but him going at Dremo would actually lead to them getting to know him. So it's it's a win-win situation for basically all of them involved. At the end of the day, at the end of the beef, everyone is going to just, you know, go their separate ways. It's it's all going to end. But, bro, they would have made a lot of money from the beef already. Check the views for this particular video or this record tomorrow. You see how big it is. It's all, it's all money, right? So, yeah, you, 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 some, some SAC fans out there saying SAC has nothing to gain. SAC is about to drop a mixtape. SAC coming out there in the first place to drop that record name, dropping artists like um um david wiz bonner ashike and and um blacko you think he, he didn't know what he was doing like of course he knew it was gonna lead, it was going to be kind of controversial definitely check the views for for brag it's 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 high like high so sack is benefiting from me so you so those people are just saying Yo, like, Sack ain't gonna gain nothing by responding to Brian Moore, but Nah, stop all that bullshit. So, yeah, kudos to CJ, did his thing, came out there, came for Dremel's hair. Now, let's see what Dremel has to say about this. So, hit that subscribe button if you're watching for the first time. Peace.